what the Patriots are going to do, because Brady's numbers aren't going to be great this year. You're not going to say, boy, let, let's give you $28 million a year. Let him go out. If you want to have him test the market, let him bring back an offer, and then the Patriots go, okay, we'll pay you this. That, but, you know, that, that's something logical with Tom Brady. I'd hate to see him go out with hat in hand and go, uh, interested? <laughs> interested in the greatest quarterback of all time? Anybody? Got any spare change here? Like you're on the corner with a hat. Uh, anybody interested? Like 20 million? I don't know. What do you think? And, you know, if you're the Chargers, are you, you're not bringing in Tom Brady? Like, is that an upgrade over Phillip Rivers? I mean, truly, is that an upgrade over Phillip Rivers? Let's be honest. As great as Tom is, greatest of all time, is that, is that an upgrade over Phillip Rivers? Yeah, Seton? Probably not, no. It, I, I, exactly. I know that you know what the optics go. Oh, of course he's better than Phillip Rivers. I'm talking about right now. Is it an upgrade over Philip Rivers? Yes, Paul. I, I think I'm. Am I on drugs? You, are you guys saying that Tom Brady's not an upgrade over Philip Rivers? How many games has Philip Rivers given it up later in the game or not been able to close a game when Tom Brady's the complete opposite? I I, I understand what you're saying, physicality and age and all that stuff. Oh my, I'm not sure how many teams in the league Tom Brady wouldn't be an upgrade over. Is he an upgrade over Drew Brees? No, not not the for, not for the Packers, not for Seattle, not for. Probably not for Drew Brees. Is he an upgrade over Lamar Jackson with the yes, Ravens? Yes, quite a bit. He sure isn't exciting. He can't run, but I, I don't think I he, don't think with the Ravens he's an upgrade over Lamar Jackson. I, this is a total hypothetical situation, but if you could have a magic wand and swap quarterbacks, oh no, for, we have a magic wand. Oh, we do. Yeah, we can do that. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say there's four teams in the league. He's not an upgrade at quarterback in January. You know when? Well, not, I'm talking about whole season. I know, but at, at, including January. Well, you know, come playoff time, then it's a little bit different. Yeah, I'm, a little bit. He'll get you to okay, them. Okay, so, so Kansas City, Green Bay, Seattle, Seattle. Oh, Russell Wilson. Russ, is he an upgrade over Jared Goff? Quite a bit. Okay. Is uh, he an upgrade over Jimmy Garoppolo? Quite a bit. Not in the looks department. Quite a bit. Man, well, I don't know if you've watched the Patriots play games here. No, I, full games. Yeah, I watch them. I, what I'm saying is, I don't buy into anything Tom Brady does in September, or October as being a negative, because mm -hmm. when he, it's January, is and, he an upgrade over Carson Wentz? Yeah. I. I okay. All right. I, I, I'm. You guys. Jump okay, in. okay. So it's Kansas City, Seattle, Green Bay, and and who's the other team? The the Saints. So you would say that he is not an upgrade over. Those quarterbacks. My rationale for upgrade is: Do we have a better chance to win the Super Bowl with this guy or that guy? Not. Uh, but you don't. You don't get him once you get to the Super Bowl. No, I know. <laughs> you, for the you, season itself, though. Yes. Yeah, well, I think, like, say, in the case of Lamar Jackson, right? It, right. Brady's not as good of a runner, obviously, as Lamar Jackson. But we're not talking about the importance of Lamar Jackson's ability to run on that team. You know, like how that keeps plays alive and that helps move the offense forward. And you're removing that off of the team. I don't know that is the problem just Lamar Jackson's throwing ability. I don't think he's an upgrade over Lamar Jackson with the Ravens. Because they don't have right. great receivers. Yeah. No. So they're built they're built for right. Lamar Jackson. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So I think you have to separate running quarter teams that are built for running quarterback. Okay. But also too, San Diego's line, sorry, LA's line is a disaster right now. Rivers has looked awful this year. So what do you how nobody does gets Brady look? Ball, nobody gets rid of the ball faster than right. Tom Brady. Does, does Brady make up for no Russell Kung and all the injuries on the all, Chargers? Yes. Yeah, well, you're watching the Patriots with a terrible offensive line, and their offense yeah. is really struggling. Yeah. But Tom Brady, Brady's not really. I mean, he's sort of overcovering that, but their offense doesn't look great at all. I feel like Brady is not. He's been looked pretty good this year. No, his numbers aren't very good. I mean, he's like. I mean, they're okay. He's fifth in league in passing, 13 touchdowns, four interceptions. They're 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 still up there. It's okay. For him, I mean, it's yeah. it's, it's okay. good for a mortal. You're yeah, right. It's is, below his. It's below what he's been. Is Gardner Minshew up there with Tom Brady? No. In stats? Uh, <laughs> Gardner Minshew has, is like, well, it's hard because he's been out games. Yeah, Gardner Minshew has good stats. Okay. But Brady's got a much higher uh, percentage. Okay. Brady's been okay. Do you think Brady's an upgrade over Carson Wentz, being an Eagles apologist? It's weird. 
I, I don't think Tom Brady would be comfortable in the Eagles offense. I, I, don't, I don't think, think it's built for him. I, don't I think, think it's built a, for Wentz. He's not think, an upgrade over Carson Wentz. But I think with New England, I think Brady's better than Carson Wentz. Like, I don't think, you know, because Carson Wentz, they do RPOs up the, the wazoo in, yeah. in Philly. I, that, let me ask you this. In New England, wouldn't you rather have Tom Brady than Carson Wentz with that team? Well, because of the system and the coach and all of that. I the mean, way they want is, to manage the game. This is 20 years of doing yeah. the same thing. But also, they want to manage the game. They want to dink and dunk down the field. Yeah. It's a great question. It is. All it, of these are really yeah, interesting. I, For more Dan Patrick Show, tune in to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV, stream for free on BR Live, or download the Dan Patrick Show app.